Stardew Valley 1.6 is finally out, and man does it have some amazing new content. I just played through Squid Fest, which is one of the new mini festivals, and I absolutely loved it. So I want to show you how it went and tell you everything that you'll need to know to make the most of it. Squid Fest takes place on the 12th and 13th of December from 6, 10 a.m. until 2 o'clock in the morning. So you have all of that time to catch as many squid as you can, and based on how many you catch, you can collect certain prizes. Now, unlike most other festivals in the game, you won't receive a letter in the mail to tell you about it, but a sign will appear on the beach in the days leading up to the festival to remind you that it's time to start stocking up on foods with fishing buffs, bait, and tackle. You should also purchase an iridium rod from Willy if you don't already have one so that you can use both the bait and the tackle. Now I know it may be tempting to use the cool new challenge bait that came out with the update so that you can try to catch three squid at a time, but I would absolutely not recommend this because the squid are relatively difficult to catch and I think it's much more likely that you're gonna lose the fish altogether than to actually get three of them by pulling off a completely perfect catch with the challenge bait. Squid bait would be a great option if you have a bait maker and a spare squid, but I decided to just go with deluxe bait because I knew it would be good enough and because it was the easiest to just buy it from Willie, along with several tackles and a bunch of trout soup. And I just went with the spinner for tackle, but if you want a little more help catching the fish, you could go with the cork bobber to increase the size of the fishing bar or the lead bobber to prevent the fishing bar from bouncing up after it hits the bottom. Squids can be a little bit tricky to catch because their behavior pattern includes these rapid downward drops. And if you chase them too fast with your fishing bar, it will bounce up off the bottom and you'll lose them. So you can try doing a little click right before the bar hits the bottom to slow it down. And if that still isn't working for you, then go ahead and try that lead bobber. On the first day of the festival, if you manage to catch eight squid, you'll be rewarded with either 10 winter seeds or two mystery boxes plus 20 pieces of deluxe bait, a dish of the sea, one pearl, three coffees, the art of crabbing book, which will unlock a new power by reading it, and last but not least, the Squid Kid wall decor, which you can't get anywhere else in the game besides on this day at this festival by catching exactly this many squid. I was super excited about the wall decor because I kind of have an obsession with Stardew decor items, especially if it's anything that you can't get in the furniture catalog. Partway through day two, I was running low on bait, but luckily Willie's shop is open during Squid Fest between 9 a.m. and noon, so you do have the ability to go pick up some more if you need it. When I went back into stock up, I decided to try out the sonar bobber just because it was a new item from the update and I was really curious. And I ended up loving it because if I saw that the fish was anything besides a squid, I would just instantly let it go, which saved me a lot of time and effort that would have been used catching those other fish. In fact, with the sonar bobber and deluxe bait combo, I was able to catch seven squid in four in-game hours before the tackle wore out compared to only catching one squid in the same amount of time before I had that bobber. And also, a little reminder here, your fishing buffs all come with a time limit, so it makes even more sense to use this if it prevents you from wasting so much of your fishing buff on sardines and albacore. But I don't know how it will work for other people, so I would love it if some of you would try it and let me know how it goes in the comments of this video. If you are able to catch 10 squid on day two, you'll be rewarded with either 15 winter seeds or three mystery boxes, plus a trap bobber, another dish of the sea, a treasure chest, three triple shot espressos, three mystery boxes, and one sea foam pudding. And then my absolute favorite reward from this entire challenge, a squid hat. Isn't it so adorable? Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more Stardew Valley content.